My name is Cecilia Solis. I lost my sister due to domestic violence. It was in 1999. I was actually six months pregnant at the time. It was the day of my birthday when I received a phone call from my older sister who told me that there was a tragedy in our family, that my sister was gunned down in the middle of the street. My sister received three gunshot wounds to the head, one in the forearm and one in the leg. I couldn't believe what I was listening to when she called me. I ran outside desperately. I thought it was a bad dream. The minute I got to my parents' home in East Los Angeles, I realized that my nephew was also a victim of domestic violence and he was also shot in the head by his own father. The doctors told us that it would be a miracle for my nephew and my sister to survive. The laws don't protect women. You hear about it every day in the news and nothing really has been done. Police reports say that Belcher killed his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins, the mother of his three-year-old daughter, Zoe, early on Saturday morning. The reports say he shot her nine times. About a half hour later at the Chiefs football training facility, he shot himself in the head. She was a loving mother who had dreams of being a teacher and a dentist, not a criminal. Officers had enough time to assess the occupants of the vehicle. They actually not only just put someone in harm's way, they, they took someone's life. The apartment where 20-year-old Jalisa Ron Hill lived is still vacant a year later. But evidence remains of the night she was gunned down as three men tried to break into her apartment. She visits her sister's grave every day. The cemetery, they have hours till 7 o'clock, but sometimes I still sneak in here and there just to, you know, to tell, let her know that I'm still here. I just want justice for my sister. <laughs> When she called the police the first time, they weren't able to take the abuser because there was no visible scars in her body. So my sister said, what do you want to see when he has me dead? These girls that are on the altar have all been victims. This table can have more pictures if there's not enough help out there. We need to stop this. It means a lot to me to see her picture in the altar. My nephew has a second chance to live. He wants to help other women that are, have been in the same problem. I started attending vigils in memory of her name. It's been about four years that he's been walking with me in her, in her memory.